regardless of where your politics are, he's a remarkable man who I've had the pleasure of knowing for a very long time. And, and he's a man who remembers everything. I remember I told him we were in New York and we were in a very busy uh, Starbucks. <laughs> and uh, it was noisy and there were lots of people taking pictures because we were in the Starbucks. And he said to me, he said, how's your mom? And I said, she's good, she's good. He said, where's she living? And I said, well, she was in Atlanta and now she, she's in Seattle. Said, oh, she's a good one. I said, hey. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, about a year and a half later, I get a phone call, I'm on location, I'm doing some film, and it's the president on the phone. He says, Kayla, I said, yeah, you done your mom live in Seattle? I said, yeah, how do you know that? Said, well, you told me one time. Yeah, why? Well, I'm in Seattle. To the speech, I thought I'd call her and let her go. So I said, okay, so I gave him my mom's number. I know what you're thinking. And, <laughs> so he called my mother and uh, he, he asked for Mrs. Spacey, and she never responds to Mrs. Spacey. My last name is Fowler. And, Space is my middle name, and, and she hung up on it. <laughs> and, and then he tried back, and, and she said, he said, Mrs. Space, and she hung up on it. <laughs> so he called me and said, you, you gave me the wrong number. <laughs> and I said, no, I, I just call back and ask for Mrs. Fowler. So anyway, he did, and my mother did speak to him, and, and uh, he, he had a cargo pick her up, and took her to this speech, he gave the speech, he had a wonderful lunch, took pictures with her that day. And I'll never forget that, um, the kindness of that. My mother was diagnosed a few weeks later with a brain tumor. And, uh, and that whole uh, last year with my mother, she always talked about that, uh, the extraordinary kindness that he showed. And so tonight he's displayed it again, and I thank him very much for being with